I've been hearing a lot about OpenDALI and how people say it's better than SDXL, so I decided to do a comparison for myself. For quite a few months, I've been looking at different models and versions, including standard and turbo ones. I wanted to show you that OpenDALI version 1.1 is also hosted over here on Hugging Face. Now, what I like about this particular layout is it shows you the prompts that were used for these image examples that were generated using this model. Now, if we scroll down, we can see exactly what the developer claims here about this particular model. And what I think is interesting is they say it's proudly, now we'll say proudly, strutting a notch above SDXL. But they also say while Dolly 3 is still the big cheese, uh, I've been a Dolly 3 user for quite a long time. So I think there's not really many, anyone out there that's better, that's better suited for doing this review than me. <laughs> no, I'm sure there are. But anyways, Dolly 3 is still the big cheese. We're hot on its heels. So they claim to be close to Dolly 3. I think you guys will be pleasantly surprised where this model shines, but if we scroll back down here, they also talk about being very loyal when it comes to sticking to your prompt. The soul of open dolly sticking to your prompts like glue. Version 1.1 takes your words and turns them into visual masterpieces that are just what you pictured, maybe even better. Well, let's take a look. All right, so starting things off, I'm going to start with prompt loyalty. How loyal is the open dolly model when it comes to prompt adherence? Now, I think it's only fair that I compare this to Dolly 3 because after all, the model creator did name drop Dolly 3 and for God's sakes, Dolly is in the name of the model. So yes, I'm gonna compare it to Dolly 3 when it comes to prompt adherence. Uh, it was one of their biggest claims, so let's try it out. I decided to use this prompt right here. It says, a photo depicting an NVIDIA GPU as the centerpiece on a spacious desk. The room's atmosphere is enhanced by glowing RGB lights that transition between different colors. The GPU surface showcases every detail from connectors to branding in the background. There's a monitor displaying a wallpaper with vibrant colors. So first up is Dolly 3. I plugged it in, that prompt, and this is what I got. A beautiful NVIDIA GPU sitting on a desk, and behind it is a monitor with a wallpaper and vibrant colors. I got exactly what I wanted. But the same can't be said for the result that I got running through Focus and the Open Dolly model. So here's that image right here. I guess we can't zoom, well, we can zoom in, but I don't see a GPU anywhere in here. I guess you could say that's a GPU, but, uh... I don't know. Anyways, I did a batch of six images in this test and not one of them had a GPU in them, which kind of bummed me out. And what I found was the longer the prompt is, the more difficult it is for, well, I guess you could say stable diffusion in this case to remember it. And I don't know if it boils down to the specific model. So I can't really pin the blame on the model itself. I do notice this with other models as well using stable diffusion, it can't really remember all the details. So usually the shorter and more detailed it is on a shorter scale, things tend to work out better for stable diffusion. So, but the point of this being that this is a prompt that came from Dolly 3. Basically what this is proving is that it can't take a Dolly 3 prompt and create the same image because Dolly 3 can remember longer, more detailed prompts Stable diffusion isn't quite there yet. It doesn't matter what model you use. It, it really doesn't. At this point, it can't remember everything. And it might have to do with VRAM too, but I mean, I have 11 gigs on this 2080 Ti that I'm using, so I don't think that's what it is. I think it's just stable diffusion in general. So I'll run this and I'll shorten it up right here, just this part right here, and we'll see how it does. So because I kind of already knew that the longer and more detailed prompt with more words was going to basically flop with, <laughs> with the open dolly model, uh, I decided to shorten it up to just this boring, a photo depicting an NVIDIA GPU as the centerpiece on a spacious desk. So this is of course, dolly three. Let's take a quick look at the two results that it gave me. Right off the bat, you can see a beautiful NVIDIA GPU sitting here on a nice, desk, a nice clean desk, unlike my own. Well, my, mine's not very bad, but this is what I got here in Dolly 3. Now, if we take a look over here in focus, uh, well, let's take a look. So we have one here with a GPU, very similar results. This one doesn't have a GPU, but it does have Nvidia logo. We do have a nice little cute little Nvidia GPU on a desk. Again, another one with, well, <laughs> if you want to say a wallpaper with an Nvidia GPU counts, there you go. And finally, another one. No GPU, but we do have the logo and another one without a GPU. So 
Uh, it's okay. It's doing pretty good. Again, not quite as adhered as Dolly 3. So shorter prompts definitely adhere a little bit better. Overall, not too bad. However, when it comes to realistic portraits, this is where I was pleasantly surprised to see. I was amazed uh, how well that this model performed when it came to realistic portraits. Now, this this can all come down to the prompt that you use, the details you use in the prompt. Uh, but yeah, look at this image here. Let's scroll down. I'll click on it for a little bit bigger image. You can see that the skin tones are good. Everything looks really nice. Uh, I did tone down the guidance scale a little bit because if I had it up to the recommended seven or eight uh, on the scale, the skin looked more shiny, it looked plastic and kind of fake. And I'll show you the example here as I scroll down, you can see that this image here is a guidance scale of seven. You can see how much more shiny, it kind of starts looking fake, more rubbery, so to say. And then on the right here, another one at guidance scale two, looks much more realistic. The prompt used for this particular test was a well-lit studio mid-shot photo of a red-headed woman with long straight hair, wistful smile, freckles, hazel eyes, dark gradient background. One important note that I wanted to mention was when I tried to make any image using this model in a landscape resolution, they all tend to come out more pixelated and noisy. You can make it out pretty well in this image. You can see that there's a lot of artifacts in the eyes. Uh, the hair is very noisy and pixely on the outside. The finer details seem to diminish. And again, that's just something I've noticed with this particular model. I've created many images using this resolution, uh, using all kinds of different models, both turbo and standard models, and haven't really had this issue. So I'm not sure exactly what it is. Um, well, maybe the developer will see this and maybe he'll rectify it. Okay, moving along. Finally, last but not least, hands and fingers. Man, I was shocked when I ran this test uh, using this model. Uh, Open Dolly version 1.1 blew me away when I ran this prompt, a photo of an Asian man holding up one hand. <laughs> Every single image in the batch of six came out with all five fingers and for the most part they looked really decent here you can see there are a couple that looked uh, that look a little oversized maybe some this one kind of looked a little weird but overall i was very impressed now did i get lucky i think so because i ran another batch and some of them had three fingers and four fingers but for the most part 90 percent of the images came out looking good so nine out of 10 for hands and fingers on Open Dolly version 1.1. I think Open Dolly definitely shines when it comes to creating illustrations like these here that I found on Reddit. However, I do see potential in this model. It's definitely there, but it's becoming so difficult for me to go back to using models that require 60 steps to create images when I've been spoiled with these awesome, super, amazing models that only take six to 10 steps. Plus they create fantastic results. Don't take my word for it. Be sure to give Open Dolly version 1.1 a try for yourself. Put it to the test. Does it measure up to its claims and hype? You be the judge. Hey guys, if you wanna check out more of my model studies, be sure to jump over on the MindRenders wiki page at wiki.mindrenders.com. I'll be sure to add that link in the description below. So you guys can just click through, just click on model studies. And then you can see all of the different studies that I've ran with different types of models. And here's an example of some sneakers inspired by comic heroes. As you can see, there is the Iron Man one. I want to thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you like the content that I create, be sure to click that thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. And I will see you guys very soon.